in this video we are going to discuss about python program to check whether the given number is armstrong number or not armstrong number means the sum of cubes of digits of the number is equals to the given number if you take 153 uh, the sum of cubes of cubes of digit so we have to cube each digit and perform sum operation on the corresponding result so 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube is nothing but 153 only so 1 cube means 1 5 cube means 125 3 cube means 27 if we add these three terms then we will get 153 only uh, so that's why we can say that 153 is uh, an armstrong number but this is not the 100% correct definition for the armstrong number so the correct definition for the armstrong number is uh, so first we have to find out uh, the number of digits of the given number and uh, perform the power operation based on the number of digits and sum all the digits so that we can get if we get uh, the resultant sum as the original number then it is called as the armstrong number so let us see an example for that so one is an armstrong number any single digit number is an armstrong number why because in one how many digits are there one digit is there so 1 power 1 is nothing but 1 if you take 9 so 9 is also an armstrong number why because 9 has how many digits only one digit so 9 power 1 is nothing but 9 only okay so we can say that any single digit is an armstrong number if you take 153 153 is an armstrong number why because in 153 how many digits are having so 153 is having three digits so we have to cube each digit and uh, sum the corresponding result okay so uh, here one 153 contains three digits so we have to perform power operation cube so that digit is rise to 3 okay so 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube is nothing but 153 only if you take 371 371 is an armstrong number why because 371 contains three digits so we have to perform power three operation on each digit so 3 cube plus 7 cube plus 1 cube is nothing but 371 only so we can say that 371 is an armstrong number if you take 1634 1634 is also an armstrong number why because 1634 contains four digits okay so we have to we have to perform power four okay power four operation on each digit so 1 power 4 plus 6 power 4 plus 3 power 4 Plus one four power four is nothing but one six three four only. So that's why we can say that one six three four is an Armstrong number. Okay. Now let us see an example program for this. So first we have to read a number from the keyboard. In order to read number from the keyboard, here we are using input function. But the problem with input function is it returns uh, string as the output. Okay. But uh, we have to convert that string into integer. So that should be done with the help of the int function. So n is equal to int of input of enter a number. Okay, enter a number. Uh, next, we need to calculate number of digits of the corresponding number. So for that, in Python, we have a function called len function. But len function is applied only on string. So that's why here we use str of n. So what is n? Let n is one fifty three. Let n is one fifty three. So now str of one fifty three means. That one fifty three will be converted into the string representation. So len of one fifty three. So one fifty three has how many digits? Three digits. So now len function will returns three value. Okay. So now x contains three. X contains three. So here why we use this str function? Why because len function is applied only on the strings. Okay. So str of n returns the string representation of the number. Okay. So if the number is one fifty three. It returns within the double quotations one fifty three, or within the single quotation one fifty three. So in one fifty three, we have three digits are there. So now x return x contains what? Three digits are there. So now x contains three. Okay. Next, temp is equal to n. Why? Because here we have to repeat the loop as long as n is greater than zero. So whenever when whenever n becomes zero, then we have to quit from the loop. And we check whether that number is given to the sum or not. Okay, but here whenever the condition is false, n is becoming zero. So that's why before entering into the while loop, we have to store n in some other variable. So we are storing the value in temp. 
let us assume that uh, we have uh, entered 153 so now temp contains 153 153 uh, next we have taken a variable called sum the initial value of the sum is 0 the initial value of the sum is 0 why because 0 plus anything is equal to anything okay and uh, next uh, here this is the logic we have to perform the repetition as long as n is greater than 0 so this is the logic here r is equal to n modulo 3 so let the number is 153 so we have to perform modulo operation so 10 153 so 10 15s are 150 150 153 minus 150 means 3 okay so if we perform uh, modulo operation then we will get the remainder so now r value is 3 next to sum is equal to sum plus the initial value of sum is 0 so 0 plus r this this star star is called as exponentiation operator r star star x so what is r value 3 so 3 star star means exponentiation operator so what is x value x value 3 why because in 153 3 digits are there so 3 star star 3 that is nothing but 3 power 3 3 power 3 is nothing but 27 so 0 plus 27 means 27 okay next here we performed operation on 3 so next we have to perform operation on 15 so in order to perform the op in order to get 15 so what we did is we performed floor division or the integer division operator so 153 by by 10 means we will get this integer quotient integer quotient so 15 so now n value will become 15 so once again control goes to the while loop 15 is greater than 0 condition is true so once again the operation will be performed 15 margin 10 so 15 modulo 10 so 10 15 so 10 ones are 10 15 minus 10 means 5 okay now r value is 5 next sum is equal to sum plus what is the previous value in sum 27 so 27 plus r power x so what is the remainder value 5 power what is x 3 so 5 over 3 means 125 so 125 plus 27 means 152 so now sum contains 152 Next year we performed upper on 15, we performed operation on 15. So next we have to perform operation on 1. In order to get 1, we, we, we performed flow division operation. So n is equal to n by 10. What is n value? 15. So 15 by 10 means it will give the integer quotient. Okay. So here what is the value? 1. So now n will become 1. So once again control goes to the value. While 1 greater than 0, condition is true. So R is equal to N modulo 10, 1 modulo 10, so 1 modulo 10, so 10 zeros are 0, 1 minus 0 means 1, so now R value is 1, so sum is equal to sum plus R power X, what is sum value 152, so 152 plus what is R value 1, what is X value 3, so 1 cube means 1, so 152 plus 1 means 153, so now sum contains 153, next N is equal to N by 10, so 1 by 10 means we will get this integer quotient. 0, 0, 0 greater than 0, condition is false. So the control comes out from the while loop. If temp double is equal to sum, what is the uh, value of temp 153? So that's why we use a temp value, okay? So here we are repeating the while loop as long as n is not equal to 0, okay? So whenever n becomes 0, then uh, 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 we come out from the while loop, okay? So that's why we need to store n in some temporary variable. So 153 is equals to, what is the value in sum 153? So the given number is equals to the corresponding result. So we can say that it is an Armstrong number. Suppose if it is some other number like 150. So 150 is not an Armstrong number. So we will get the message as not an Armstrong number. Suppose if the number contains uh, 4 digits, then this uh, while loop will be repeated for 4 times. In the first iteration what will happen? 4 power 4 will be calculated and it will be added to sum. In the second iteration, 3 power 4 will be calculated and it, and it will be added to the sum. So this is about Armstrong number program. Now let us see whether this program is working properly or not. Now let's see the program execution. Uh, so first we have to read a number from the keyboard. So next we have to compute uh, the number of digits of that number. Uh, next uh, we have to store uh, uh, n in temporary variable. Why? Because uh, whenever the condition is false, then n value will become zero. Uh, so in order to have the n value, so we need to store n in a temporary variable the initial value of the sum is 0 uh, while n is greater than 0 so this is the logic so first we have to compute the remainder next to sum is equal to sum plus we have to perform power operation on the corresponding remainder so remainder power x okay 
next n is equal to n floor division operator so this is integer division operator we will get only the quotient as integer only so whenever the condition is false then we have to check uh, temp value and sum value if both are equal then we can say that uh, the given number is armstrong number if both are not equal then we can say that it is uh, not an armstrong number now let us run the program any single digit number is an armstrong number if you take 7 so 7 has only one digit so 7 power 1 is nothing but 7 only okay so we can say that 7 is a armstrong number uh, so let us take the second number let us take the second number uh, f5 let us do the execution so let the number is 153 so 153 is an armstrong number okay now uh, let us run the program one more time uh, let the number is 1634 uh, 1634 so 1634 is an armstrong number so we got the message as armstrong number so let us enter some more numbers which are not Armstrong numbers. So let the number is 23. So 23 is not Armstrong number. Why? Because in 23 we have two digits are there. So 2 power 4, 2 power 2 plus 3 power 2 means 4 plus 9 means 13. So 13 is not equal to 23. So we can say that 23 is not an Armstrong number. So with this we can conclude that uh, uh, our program is working properly.